What is going on guys? This is 42 Sports here and today I am talking about the USC Trojans versus the Texas Longhorns who were ranked in the beginning of the season 23rd in the nation. Now they're not even ranked. The USC Trojans are ranked 4th in the nation after beating 14th ranked Stanford after a whopping 42 to 24 as the game. Everyone, yes, everyone thought that Texas was back. Texas was great again, LOL. Texas shock, shocked everyone from losing the first game of the uh, year to Maryland, 51 to 41. Their special teams had more touchdowns than their whole team combined which was crazy. Shane Bouchel, I believe is how you pronounce his last name, struggled in that game. He also, I think, got injured uh, in that game as well. So um, I believe that the starter will be Sam Efflinger. I don't know how to pronounce the last name. Ellinger, so, I, I don't know. So E-H-L-I-L-I-N-G-E-R. -E uh, he went 15 for 27, 222 yards and one touchdown against San Jose State Spartans, who they beat 56-0. to zero. Now, this is a questionable game. Who is going to win? In my opinion, I think USC is going to win. Sam Darnold is Sam Darnold, and Sam Darnold is just a straight beast. He's already accumulated of 44 completions to 59 attempts with 605 passing yards with four touchdowns and only four interceptions. Shane Bouchel, 34 through 52, 375 yards, two touchdowns, and one interception. That's in one game. Now, USC played two tough games. Now, they may, you may say that Western Michigan wasn't really a tough game, but as you guys know from last year, Western Michigan went all the way to 15-1 and and lost to Wisconsin in the bowl game. I forget which one it was. But they they basically almost had like everybody back from last year, but they did have a new coaching staff. Uh, they're still good with Western Michigan. They're still decent. I mean, USC won 49-31. So this game is probably going to be a high up-tempo. <music> passing type attack uh, team. So it's probably going to be in the 40s, maybe in the 50s of this game. Now, unless USC's defense comes along and destroys the Texas offense, like Maryland shocked everyone, and they beat um, Texas pretty badly. Well, not really badly, but yeah, it was 51-41. So, let's go through the, the uh, stats uh, from Texas for rushing. I already said the Texas passing in USC, Sam Darnold for Shane Bouchel. Um, Texas rushing. Chris Warren the third had 22 carries, 197 yards. Uh, he's a leader. Um, for USC, we have uh, Ronald Jones the second. He had 41 carries, 275 yards, and five touchdowns. That's going to be the key for USC is they're rushing also and they're passing. For their top receivers, uh, we have um, for USC, uh, number 80, Deontay Burnett. He has 16 receptions, 263 yards, and two touchdowns. For Texas, we have Colin Johnson. Nine receptions, 175 yards, and one touchdown. Now, for the team's stats, points per game. Texas, as we all know, they destroyed San Jose, San Jose State. So they have 45.5 points per game in the past two games, while USC has 45.5. You know, USC's played two tough games, and Texas played wishy-washy games. Um, points al allowed per game. Texas, 25.5. USC almost similar 27.7 or 27.5 total yards which is crazy they're both in 500 yards um, Texas has 548.0 while USC has a higher of 572.0 yards passing between Ethlinger and Shane Bouchel uh, 296.0 while Sam Darnold 302.5 yards of passing yards of rushing USC wins again. Uh, yards rushing for USC, 269.5, while Texas has 252. 
yards allowed. This is a big problem for both teams because, you know, Pac-12 and Big 12 teams usually love to throw the ball and they usually have a mediocre defense. Um, yards allowed. Texas uh, Lee uh, is not leading in this one. They have 174.0 while, or Pat, just passing yards. Uh, while they have, uh, USC has 133.0. Uh, for total yards allowed, um, Texas 326.5, while USC has 349.5. So, Texas wins on the defensive side by very little uh, rushing yards allowed. Um, USC might struggle on this one uh, because their defensive rushing didn't really do so well. Uh, they have 216.5 uh, rushing yards were allowed for Texas. 152.5. So that might be a key for the Texas Longhorns. Now for the matchup predictor, uh, we have a USC of a whopping 75.9% over 24.1% of the matchup predictor. So, comment below what you guys think about this game. Uh, I predict that USC will win this game in the fourth quarter, late in the fourth quarter, by two touchdowns. Uh, they will beat um, the, Tex the Texas Longhorns. I don't think Texas is back yet. They're not back at all. They're overhyped. Tom Herman, Herman just overhyped and everything. And they were ranked when they were 5-7 and seven last year. And it was a joke. So, guys, let me know in the comments below. And like, comment, and subscribe. 42 Sports here. Y'all have a great day. And see you guys later. Peace.